Uh, Jonah Fieldcuff may be one of the most interesting fugitives I've uh, come across on America's Most Wanted. He's a child of privilege, and if you go on the internet, you still might be able to find some of his infomercials. He was promising musicians the keys to success in the uh, entertainment industry. But investigators tell me that in reality, he made his money through large-scale marijuana distribution. And as I've learned, when you have illegal substances, there's usually an undercurrent of violence that follows with it, and it's no exception here. In this case, I think it was three quarters of a million dollars he and his brother had stashed in a storage facility, according to the police. And they had a underling come and check on the money. And when the guy saw that amount of money, he couldn't resist temptation and he took it. And in response, Jonah Fieldcoff apparently had the fellow kidnapped. What happened in this case, though, and that's what makes it so colorful in terms of a reenactment, was that once this man was being held hostage, he negotiated with his kidnappers, and there was a fight, there was a commotion, and in the end, Jonah Fieldcuff was the only one who disappeared. He's the only one who hasn't been rounded up. He's a resourceful guy, he's uh, very technologically savvy, and he could be anywhere. You really should tune in in June to see this story about Jonah Fieldcoff because it's one of the great ones. Now you can get the same AMW gear that cops all ask us for. AMW ball caps, AMW shirts, AMW mugs, and much more. Just go to our website, amw.com. Click on AMW gear. Soon, you'll be making a difference with style.